What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening a 2003 XYZ Dragon Cannon 10 for Christopher F. Yeah, I posted all these on my website. Five out of six have sold at the time of recording this. So you guys are gonna get to see five 2003 10 openings. So make sure you guys go ahead and thank Christopher F in the comments. That is how you will enter the giveaway. So here are the three cards. These three Legacy of Darkness cards are for the giveaway. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, and thank Christopher F for letting us get to open this tin because it's just going to be a lot of fun to see these old packs, see this promo. Hopefully we can get him a nice promo. So we're going to start it off now and hopefully get something good. Okay, let's break into the seal of this 2003 tin. Oh, it hurts so much, but also it's going to be so fun. So Christopher, let's try and get him something good. We have inside a pack of the first five sets. Which is going to be pretty awesome. We can pull some really cool stuff. Let's get that. Let's get a nice promo to start off. That is our goal. I didn't have too good of luck with my promos. But I, these seals look a little bit better. So I'm hoping we can have better luck. We can get some nice condition promos. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Alright, we're going to pull these out. you got to be pretty careful here. How's the back? Oh, the promo is scuffed. 2003, man. Why are these worse than 2002? That's what... In my experience, 2002 have been better. So let's see. The back is scuffed for sure. The front looks... Okay, the front looks great. So that's good. See, that's why you don't put it in the bottom of those tins. Okay. XYZ Dragon Cannon. At least it's just scuffing. It's not like bent or anything. That's good. Alright, so we got an XYZ Dragon Cannon. That's pretty nice looking. Definitely not what we're looking for in terms of near mint to mint, but that is still not bad. So now we have five packs... We can pull some really cool stuff out of here. We've pulled blue eyes. We've pulled uh, some secret rares, stuff like that. So let's see if we can do it. These are the 2003 packs. By the way, a reminder, 2003 tins will have the magic spell on the same card for magic ruler. So just a reminder, because a lot of people end up thinking it's an error. They're spamming in the comments. You pulled an error card. You didn't say anything. So yeah, there it is. We have Hysteric Fairy, Headless Knight, the Lady Panther, Grand Tiki Elder. A Jalgen. I cannot stop pulling this card. Jalgen the Spiritualist is like the only rare I pull. Mario Kutai and the Portrait Secret. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we are going to sleeve up these full packs. It's like this. Even if there's not a foil in them. Next pack, we have Pharaoh Servant. Potential Jinzo. It's from a tin. I don't ne think that necessarily means it's a retail pack. I'm trying to remember... Okay, we pulled a magic cylinder, so maybe it does mean retail. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Maybe you can pull both. Who knows? I'm not totally sure about sales and three packs. I'm guessing that they're split. Flame Champion. Here we go. Respect play. Let's pull something good. Garuchiniku Wagata. Souls of the Forgotten. And a backup soldier. So that is a super rare. We will take that. Not the best super rare, but a super rare is a super rare. Christopher F. He's actually had, uh, he's been in a lot of the box breaks, so. He's had some, uh, I think he pulled something pretty good last time. I'm trying to remember. Twin Ed Fire Dragon, Invitation to Dark Sleep, Mystic Probe, and Solomon's Law Book. Yeah, speaking of the box breaks, we do have Ancient Sanctuary tomorrow night. If you guys are seeing this on Tuesday, it's on Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Central, live on YouTube. So be there. Those have been really fun, actually. Like, way more, even way more fun than I thought. Like, I thought they'd be fun, but they're like... They've been a great time, so I hope you guys show up for that. Three more packs. We have Magic Ruler. Here's the one where it's going to be the interesting. We'll show you guys on Magic, on a Magic card. It will say Spell, but it'll be from MRL, and the pack obviously says Magic. So here we go. Horn of Light. Sonic Bird. Here we go. Let's pull Relinquished. I'm guessing it's going to be Serpent Knight. Maybe it's Blue Eyes Tune. Who knows? Taihon. Electric Snake. And Manga Ryu ran. A classic rare, but just a rare hamburger recipe. Can we get the legendary? No. No hamburger. No hamburger helper this time. <laughs> okay, two more packs. We have Metal Raiders. MRD. Summon Skull. Can we pull Gate Guardian? Can we pull... Wait, when did we pull Gate Guardian? Was that a Forbidden Legacy? I'm trying to remember. Thousand Dragon? I don't know. Tremendous Fire. 
We've got a Trent that, that reminds me of Lord of the Rings. We've got, uh, what's his name? Treebeard. The Punished Eagle. Armored Zombie. He's armored. Okay. Let me just talk about this real quick. This guy is an armored zombie. Look at his defense. Bruh. Is his armor really doing him any good? I mean, he has zero defense. He's wearing armor, but he has zero defense. So what's the point of the armor? That's what I'm wondering. Great moth. We got the Grande moth. Okay, can we pull the Pequeno moth? Here we go. Block attack. And a big eye. Okay. Okay. All right. No foil that time. No foil that time, unfortunately. Okay. If you guys remember, 2003 was the one where I had really bad luck with pulls. I went... What was it like? 0 for 20 or something? On the start, it was rough. And we finally pulled Blue Eyes in the last pack. So can we do it here? Can we pull Blue Eyes in the last pack? Legend of Blue Eyes. Here we go. Come on. Let's get something good. Oh. Okay, that ripped a little weird. This thing is uh, disintegrating before my eyes. I'm going to try to save the pack as much as we can. Here we go. L-O-B. Electro Whip. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, let's just do three to be safe, just so I don't miss it. We have Turtle Tiger. Hard Armor. Kumu Toko. Last pack. We need a Red Eyes. We need a Blue Eyes. We need Dark Magician. Exodia Head. Electro Whip. Here we go. The King Fog. Beaver Warrior. Petite Dragon, did we, did we did the card trick right? Here we go. Oh, a right arm! Okay, no, we didn't do the card trick right. Right arm of the Forbidden One. We have an Exodia limb in the final pack. Yes, there we go. Let's check it out. Centering is a little bit off. It's a little bit off. It's not the worst I've seen, but it is not very good. Looks like a clean card, though, so there we go. That turned out to be a pretty good tin. Overall, we got... Three total foils. We got the Secret Rare promo, Ultra Rare Right Arm, and a Backup Soldier Super Rare. Three foils is actually pretty good for one of these. Well, two, I guess. You automatically get this. Two foils is actually really good for five packs in the old packs. So that's pretty awesome for Christopher. I hope he enjoys that. We'll be sending all that out to him. If you guys ever want something like this, let me know in the comments. I'll probably be posting more stuff. If I ever get more stuff, I'll post it on my website. And my website is ruxin34.com. It's in the description, so you guys can check that out there. Also, you can become a YouTube Tier 2 member. I didn't make that clear that it's on YouTube. Tier 2 member, and you can get discounts on the box breaks and potentially on sales on the site in the future. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys check out the join button down below or the link if you are on mobile. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this 2003 10 opening. It's always fun to open these old packs. I really enjoy it, and I hope you guys did too. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh. <laughs>